welcome to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy, and today I've got another Kickstarter preview for you of a game that's coming out at the end of October called Dumpster Brawl. Dave over at Brave Frontiers wrote me and asked me if I'd like to check it out. I said, come on, shoot it to me. We love to demo games, and so here we go. Dumpster Brawl is a set collection game with a combat aspect to it, fighting aspect, whatever you want to call it, brawling. And um, so in Dumpster Brawl, you're going to take on a character. This looks like some kind of a fox. You got rats, a moose, um, looks like a cat maybe, or a dog, I'm not sure. And so you're gonna take on a character, like this one is Raby Ratafeller, and um, she's got a wrench in her hand, and she looks like she's ready to fight. Obviously, I've got some prototype pieces. Uh, Dave was uh, apologizing for some of this stuff, but I actually think it looks great. And so, but in Dumpster Brawl, you're gonna take a character, and you're gonna be diving into a dumpster, fighting over who gets to dive into a dumpster, and find some stuff. And, and at the end of the game, you're gonna be trying to collect sets. You have to get three sets of at least three, a set can have more than three in it, but the only thing that you can have at the end of the game in order to win the game is at least three sets of three. So on a turn, at the beginning of the game, like I said, you get a character card, and then you're going to be given a certain amount of cards based off of the number of people that are going to be playing. And there's all kinds of crazy stuff that you're going to find in the trash, like apple cores, banana peels, tin cans, pizza boxes, takeout boxes, um, stuffed bears, whatever. It's all kinds of craziness. So make sure you shuffle this up good because it is a set game, so there's lots of different items in here. But once you get them set up, uh, mixed up pretty good, shuffled in there, everybody takes a set of cards. You look at your cards and then you know what you're gonna try to collect. And so on your turn, basically like in a round robin fashion, at the beginning of a turn, uh, whoever is the lead player would be able to say, hey, I'm gonna attack Joe over here. And so then you take these dice that we have. One set is just for defense and the other is for attack. And so if I'm attacking, I'm looking for swords. If I'm defending, I'm looking for shields. So the fighting is really, really simple. So like in this instance, I rolled three swords for attack and Joe rolled really good. He rolled five shields, so he did amazing. So he blocked my attack. But let's say that I won the attack. Then I'd be able to dive into the dumpster if I want and draw out cards. And I'd also be able to attack Joe. So let's say that I, I won the attack. I could either randomly take a card out of his hand or I'd be able to put a card into Joe's hand. So why would you want to do that? One, randomly, if I could get extra cards, I'm looking for sets, I need a lot of cards at the beginning of the game. But also, I want to get rid of a card. So let's say I've got Cabbage here and I don't have any cabbage. I want to dump this card, get it out. I can stick it in his hand. They also have some cards in the game. They're slug cards. Um, they're cards that don't have any matches at all. So it's just a dead card. It's a card that you can't win the game if you have this in your hand. So um, that keeps things going throughout the game because if you have that card, you're going to be continually trying to get rid of it. And you also know that somebody's going to be trying to give it back to you. So you're trying to avoid some of those things and you want to win the fights. So that's really it. That's Dumpster Brawl. There's a lot of variations. Dave had some really cool ideas of different ways that you can play the game and do some things differently. They've even got some stretch goals on their Kickstarter campaign that if they reach certain amounts of funding that they'll be able to include extra variants to the game. So that's pretty cool. It's a real simple game. This isn't complicated. So if you're looking for something Crazy. This isn't a game for you, but I don't. I would say don't put it off just yet because this this is a fun game that you could just sit down with. I see this appealing to a lot of different people, maybe uh, uh, families, obviously uh, with kids and teenagers, but also if you just want to hang out and have some fun, this would be a great filler game in between some of your heavier stuff, maybe in between an RPG or a really uh, heavy Euro game or a military game or something. You're like, hey, let me pull out something quick. Let's do this. It's fun. The, the combat aspect is a lot of fun because, um, uh, because it is a brawl. You're fighting everybody all the time, so no one's going to get their feelings hurt because they know they've got to fight somebody in order to win too. So it keeps things light, and um, it keeps going around. It keeps it going 
because you're trying to get set. So if you get the wrong card, you know I'm just another round away and I got to keep this thing going uh, so I can get the exact set. And then when you finally do get your set, you know, and you lay down just like in rummy or something, you're really excited because you're like, I finally got what I needed. I win the game and everybody gets mad, but then they want to play again. So the pluses to the game, I like the artwork. It's fun. It's light. Uh, I like being able to use dice in the game, so it's not just a card game. The characters give you a different... Uh, everybody's got a different set that they could collect where um, basically like a character has certain types of trash that they only have to get two of in order to make it a set. So that really helps you. I'm not having to wait on that third card. I've got two. I've got a set, so I'm good to go there. Um, so that's kind of cool. So check it out on Kickstarter. Like I said, look for the new components to figure out exactly what Dave's going to be able to include in this. And uh, watch some other video reviews of other guys to see what they said. Uh, thanks again for sending us this game. We always appreciate games that we can demo. And uh, we've got a lot more videos online of games that have been out for a while, games that everybody loves, some games that we hate. So check out our video, uh, other videos on YouTube, uh, Board Game Closet. And as always, support your local hobby shop, and in this case, Kickstarter.